Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to film a video about why I love rabbits. So this video is actually a collaboration with Lilac the Lop and Asher's Adventures, so I will link their videos down below. I believe Lilac the Lop is filming a video about expectations versus reality of rabbits and Asher's Adventures is telling you different places that you can buy rabbit supplies. So if you came from one of their channels, welcome, my name is Rachel and I make videos about rabbit care as well as little vlogs of Milo's adventures. If you want to just see a cute bunny or if you want to learn more about rabbits, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can press that red button down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's see why I love rabbits. So number one is they are hilarious. Just the different things that they do is just so funny. So I know one thing that Milo does, which just cracks me up so much, is he will literally jump into his hay rack and eat his hay inside of his hay rack. Now, by the time this video goes up, I'm hoping that I at least have a picture or a small video of this. And if I do, I will include it. But every time I keep trying to do that, he hops out. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have a clip to show you. Another thing that they do is just the cute little jumps that they do. Milo can just be sitting completely still and then suddenly jump like two feet in the air. And it's just so funny to watch. I will make sure I add a clip of that so you can see what I'm talking about. Number two is they're a novelty pet. So they're kind of unique and different and there's not that many people who have rabbits. So it's a really good topic of conversation as well as just kind of getting to know different people. A lot of people will know you as someone who has a rabbit it just because that kind of makes you unique and it can bring people up to you that normally wouldn't. Number three is rabbits are relatively clean. They're always cleaning themselves and grooming themselves so they never smell bad. The only smell that you might have is from hay and if you don't clean the litter box as much as you should then yes that will smell bad but if you do clean the litter box and you don't mind the smell of hay they're really clean. I mean I've never picked up Milo and he's never smelled bad. If a rabbit does smell bad then that probably means that there's some kind of medical thing going on but in general you don't have to give them bass you shouldn't give them bass just a lot of different things it's they're pretty nice. Number four, sorry if you can hear my air conditioning, but rabbits make you buy veggies. So at the age of three months, you start introducing vegetables into your rabbit's diet. And then that means that vegetables are in your house and then the chances of you eating them are a lot higher than if they weren't. So I think that that's a really cool way to kind of be healthier. Rabbits make you more healthy. There you go. <laughs> the next thing is that watching them is an activity in and of itself. So like I said before, they're really funny, but also, they're really entertaining just in general to watch. Watch them explore, watch them do their thing. Milo's a pretty independent little guy, so he likes to go and do his little thing, but then, you know, he'll come back and give kisses and stuff, and it's just so cute, and you just, it keeps you very engaged for a long period of time, even though you don't think that you might be. They definitely will keep you engaged, even now that I've had Milo for a long time, and I've seen Milo do tons of different things. Every time I watch him, I always Always have a good time and I'm always engaged in what he's doing just because it's so cute. <laughs> the next thing is that rabbits are really intelligent. They're very smart. Milo knows come, he knows tricks and stuff. He also knows that when the door opens to a room that he's not allowed to be in that if he sprints really fast the chances of him getting in are higher than if he doesn't do that. So he's really smart. He knows how to go and get into places if he wants so that could be bad but I think it's really cool because a lot of people don't realize that rabbits are smart but but they really, really are. The next thing is the entire rabbit community in general is so awesome. So I feel like sometimes when you go and you get involved in something new, you're like, oh wow, there's this whole community I didn't know about. And rabbits are no exception to that. A lot of people who have rabbits are super cool and super nice. And it's really cool to be able to engage with them. Milo has an Instagram. And being able to engage with tons of people all over the world who share that same love of rabbits is so much fun. The next reason why I love rabbits is because when they love you, they love you and they will definitely show it. So Milo, yes, Sometimes he can get mad at me, whatever, flick dirt in my face. But <laughs> when he comes back and he wants to give me kisses and says I'm his mommy, you know, he usually only does that for me. You can definitely tell that he really loves you. He'll go and follow me around. And it's a really cool thing to have, just that love that a rabbit will give you. It's very unique. The next thing is they litter box train really easily. So I know sometimes dogs can have accidents, depending on your dog. But Milo has never had an accident outside of his litter box. And now I'm talking about pee, sometimes poop. 
he'll go and he'll be in his litter box. He'll go in his litter box, but sometimes it'll be stuck on his fur. He'll jump out and there'll be a little poop. But the poop is not gross. If you don't know this, rabbit poop is actually dry. It doesn't smell bad. It's the pee that can smell bad. And Milo has never had an accident when it comes to peeing. So I'm really pleased with that. And he just, he's really good about it. The next thing is you can take care of your rabbit in the comfort of your own home. For sometimes dogs and stuff, you have to go and take them out. But like cats or rabbits and stuff, you can kind of just keep them inside and take care of them inside. You don't have to go outside and do that. That could maybe be a con for you. But personally, I think it's a good thing for me because sometimes I don't really want to go outside if it's really hot out or something like that. So I can go and take care of Milo in the comfort of my own home. And I just think that that's awesome. The next thing is rabbits are super photogenic. So if you have an Instagram, you can go and post a picture with your rabbit. Milo has his Instagram if you want to go check it out. But they are super photogenic. If you want to get a picture of your rabbit, they're always going to look good. Or at least Milo, I feel like, always looks good in pictures. He doesn't have a bad angle. They're just fun to take pictures of and kind of see what they're doing. Take little videos of them jumping around. It's just so cute and it's really fun to do it. The next thing is that your rabbit becomes part of your family. So Milo has definitely integrated himself into my family and I could not be more thankful for that. He is so, so sweet and he's definitely a part of the family and rabbits can integrate themselves just like dogs and cats can, which I think is awesome. And just the way that they go about things, you know, you can tell that they are involved in everyone in the family and stuff like that. It's just fun. Even Milo loves his little sister, not little sister, big sister, Billie Jean, who's a dog. They go and have fun with each other. So it's just cool. Lastly, if you're having a bad day, Bigfoot will cheer you up. <laughs> no, you don't know what I'm talking about with Bigfoot. I will insert some pictures that I posted on Instagram before. Milo has huge feet. It's really funny. But rabbits will cheer you up if you're having a bad day. Honestly, just seeing a cute animal cheers me up. And I think that it cheers a lot of other people up too. I'm definitely not alone on that. And I think rabbits are a really cool thing because you don't see them very often. So just going and seeing a really cute bunny with, you know, their cute little chubby cheeks and it's just adorable. You, you just can't feel sad. I mean, you can feel sad, but <laughs> you just feel so much better when you see that. And I think that their animals are really therapeutic. So, you know, rabbits are no exception to that. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below if you want to see another video and make sure you check out Asher's Adventures as well as Lilac a lot to see some of their videos. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.